everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, and with Ghostbusters Frozen Empire now in theaters, that means there's a whole host of themed concession collectibles to buy. And while previously here on the channel, we featured this one, the Cinemark exclusive Slimer Popcorn Tub, today we're going to be taking a look at something to trap this, as we've got the Regal exclusive Ghost Trap Popcorn Bucket. Yeah, as you likely already know, in fact, I know some of you, you already have one of these, the caution stripe clad ghost prison on wheels has been turned into one of the single greatest vessels of butter and salt in movie theater history. Now, before I talk about this ghost trap at nauseum, Regal, they surprised us sending along a care package to the Ghostbusters News headquarters. And among the items included was, well, this guy right here. The mini puffed shoulder sitter and the concept here, it is rather simple, but highly effective with the confectionery minion being held in place by a magnet. The base of the magnet, it's meant to go under your shirt or flight suit and it holds the mini puffed in place. Available are two different renditions. You've already seen this one right here, the angry or maybe mischievous mini puffed, but there's also a downright adorable happy variant that works the exact same way. And if you want to talk about cute and adorable Regal, they also sent along some of these plushes. And while previously here on the channel and taking a look at some of these Cinemark offerings, we showed both of these. There's Slimer and also a s'more based mini puffed, but one that we've yet to take a look at is this one right here a mini puffed wearing 3D glasses. Now I'm pretty sure that this scene uh, never happened in the film, but then again, there's a lot of mini puffs on screen, so maybe I, ju I just missed it. But regardless, it it's fun. It's totally fun. I mean, heck, it it's a mini puffed. How can it not be fun? Also, as part of Regal's Ghostbusters collection, but not exclusive to them, is this super soft pillow of the No Ghost logo. In hand here, it's a pretty good size, and again, it's just it's soft, just, just super, super, super soft. Hmm. All right, now let's talk about the main eventers, the heavy hitters, the popcorn buckets, because first here, I've got the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire Firehouse Tin. Just like the tin your old grandmother used to keep her licorice and Werther's originals inside of, but made that much cooler, pun intended, with imagery making it appear like New York City's famed firehouse. This one, it is another case of simple but effective. Tying into Frozen Empire, you'll see the bottom here, it appears lined with ice. Looking at the front, we got the double doors, it says hook and ladder, also the Ghostbusters iconic sign. And then making your way up to the top here, very much like what can be seen in Frozen Empire, Slimer, he is stationed inside the firehouse. And then because branding is important on the side here, we've got the iced over Ghostbusters logo. And then atop the tin lid, the Ghostbusters title. Now let's round back to Regal's exclusive Ghost Trap popcorn bucket. And having it in hand, let me just say, first impression here is that it is better than it has any right to be. Seriously, I would choose this over the majority of toy props that have been made available over the last several years at Halloween and retail stores. The caution striping atop those doors look great. I could totally gush about these gray side panels for like days, as it does feature some pretty great sculpting details as well as labels and caution stickers. Like seriously, they did not need to include like this sticker right here, but I I'm so glad they did. And I'm sure a lot of the more hardcore diehard Ghostbusters fans out there, they share my sentiments. Another area that really surprised me that was included when it totally didn't have to be uh, was the connection port to the trap pedal. Is it screen accurate? No, but keep your expectations in check. Again, this is a popcorn bucket. Oh, also in an inclusion that the toy guru would approve of, in looking at the underside of the trap, it's a popcorn bucket that really rolls. Sorry about that. And for a second here, I do want to round back to screen accurate details because I'm not really going to tear this thing apart. I'm not going to review it like it's a high-end prop model. Again here, it's a popcorn bucket and it's got way more right than wrong. In fact, I feel as if when compared again to those other officially licensed toy ghost traps, this ranks near the top on appearance. Like here's a quick comparison of it next to the go-to ghost trap toy prop that's been available over the last several years from Spirit Halloween, Halloween costumes, and pretty much, well, all Halloween stores. 
I think the stripes up top, they look better. The side panels look better. And speaking about the panels here, the front panel of Regal's popcorn bucket, it's gray. I mean, again, it's not metallic, but it's gray. Well, the standard toy, uh, it's just black. In fact, if we're talking about Ghost Traps, let's go ahead and compare this one next to the higher end model that was released by Mattel more than 10 years ago. Now this Mattel trap, just an FYI, it has been slightly modified, but as I said at the top of the video, the popcorn bucket, it looks way better than it has any right to be. Is it better than the Mattel trap? No, of course not. That's because again, it's a popcorn bucket. Now, one thing I've somehow yet to touch on is functionality. As well, this ghost trap, it was first advertised to include both lights and sounds. Turns out, uh, yeah, it just has lights as well as doors that swing open. And this allows you to either stuff it full of popcorn or a class five full roaming vapor. And to open the trap up, all you have to do is just hit this little switch right here that's next to the red light. In fact, let's go ahead and do just that. Oh, that is so cool. So again, we've got lights, uh, both that aforementioned red one that is next to the activation button there, as well as another one near the front that while static, again, is very much welcome. And as you've no doubt already noticed, I loaded this thing up full of buttery movie theater popcorn. And that is because I'm a journalist. As well, people, they've got to know if this ghost trap popcorn bucket, it can actually be used as, well, a well, popcorn bucket. Yep, it can. And I'm sure some of you, you're curious. So in removing the popcorn, this is how the interior of the ghost trap, it looks. When you are done with your popcorn, to close it, all you have to do a little bit of pressure, you'll hear like a little snap there, and that's it. So I would like to send a huge thank you out to Regal for sending along this Ghost Trap popcorn bucket, as well as all the other items featured in today's video. As well, be on the lookout because soon here on the channel, we are gonna be comparing this Regal Ghost Trap popcorn bucket next to AMC's exclusive Ghost Trap popcorn bucket. Mm. Mm. Sorry. With that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is down below in this video's description. And I'll see you right back here next time.